Hello guys, this week we are back in Milan, Italy, and we're gonna paint a gouache on a Moleskine uh, sketchbook paper. So I just ripped off one of my pages in the middle where they're sewn together and I cut the cotton thread and pulled the double page out and open it up and use it as uh, my support. This week I started with a drawing that is uh, very different from my usual uh, drawings. In what way? In a way that I decided to just draw without following proportions and uh, plumb lines. I just got back from a really long trip back from uh, California. I'm here in Milan, it's very gray, it's, um, it's rainy, it's the beginning of the winter. The city is all enveloped in kind of like this uh, light milky fog and I got um, a nose cold and I'm feeling under the weather as you can probably hear from my voice. So I decided to just have a week a little bit more free, a little bit more fun and well first of all I chose gouache which is which for me is like wearing my old pair of uh, sneakers so comfortable and so try not to stress out about proportion and don't take any measurement at all and kind of uh, draw um, the feeling of this portrait of Ryan. It came out a little bit more of a like a caricature drawing. For sure one of the main influences was Alexander Wilby. He is uh, an artist based in the UK. He is uh, well known for his amazing drawings that I like style, design, and um, he is really able to push the character of the people when he draws them. The technical term is uh, wonkiness. So yes, we draw a wonky portrait this week and we get inspiration from Alexander Wilby. Also very interesting to see the way he paints his portrait and uh, the way he uses soft and hard edges. I think that's really interesting. And uh, I especially love his painting portraits where he completely blends one feature of the face. So for example, in this one uh, where you can't even actually see if not a really, really soft and light uh, int of the mouth, but still it has so much character. And also atmosphere. The palette is a little bit different because I thought since I'm enveloped in all this uh, grayness and fog and rain, I am gonna, I'm not gonna work with uh, cadmiums this week because for me, cadmiums are linked to the, to the beauty of the sunlight, warmness um, connected to the summer. I know that I probably shouldn't be painting differently depending on where I am and and depending on the season, but my moods changes. And I am a girl, and especially girls, and I don't want to generalize, but as a woman, I feel that with my hormonal changes, uh, my moods have uh, wide swings. There's many artists in the history also that had different styles in their own, uh, in their own career, different times, different styles, but also at the same time, different styles. For example, if we think about George de la Tour, for a long time, actually, we couldn't say which paintings were his because he had two very different styles, night paintings and the daylight paintings. And these two type of paintings uh, are very different. And I think that you know, who knows, maybe, maybe De La Tour was a little bit moody, just like me. <laughs> and, um, and he had some uh, mood swings. So anyway, back to the painting. The palette has no cadmiums, but instead has uh, earthy tones. Yellow ochre, rose sienna, and uh, raw amber. And then uh, for saturation, I added cool hues, and I decided to go with cobalt blue and um, alizarin crimson, which is mm, gonna be another side of my red on the cooler side, and it's just a pigment that I love to create some uh, nice purples. For this weekly painting, because I wanted to give the idea of this atmospheric, milky, foggy, enveloping fog, 
this week I wanted to play with the concept of uh, tint. What is a tint? The tint is a mixture of color with white. So if you get any pigment any you that you like and you add some white, you get a tint. That means that our painting was gonna was not gonna have any of the darkest darks. We will have white in each one of our mixes. That means that we have the we have the availability to work with a range that goes from mid tones to the lightest light. The feeling associated with a particular color space that could be only tints or only tones is linked to a special kind of feeling or way of um, a mood or an atmosphere that is completely subjective, that is very, very much linked to the experience that each one of us has had. When I paint, and this is also the, the meaning of my channel, the, the reason why I started to do this channel. When I paint, I think, okay, this is the feeling I have. Oh, now, how can I get close to that mood, that atmosphere? I'm going to try and work with, in this restriction uh, so that I can get close to what I'm thinking about. I am just lucky if someone else sees my paintings and have a similar feeling, but it really is not required. The painting will have its own life and people will feel or remember things that are linked to their own experiences and memories. And I think this is really the strength of painting. A painting can give many different uh, lessons and, and ideas to different individuals and it's good that it is that way. At the same time, I think there are some universal concepts that linked all human beings together. It was a fun painting and it was uh, really cool. This kind of restriction helped me to harmonize the colors that I use. Because when you have a free range of saturation and uh, and hues and um, and tones, then um, chances are that if you haven't painted for twenty years, which I have not, because I probably have under my belt around three years of painting, and uh, a little longer in drawing, probably ten years in drawing, but painting some. I'm a novel, basically, to, to painting. So I do not know color and, uh, and painting in a way that I am able to manipulate a free access to all of these tools and, um, and channel what I am feeling. But restriction actually helps me to work and harmonize the color better. So as far as tints, when you add white, you get all these pastels, really foggy, milky, foggy colors that are still, um, they, they still work together very, very well all the time. I hope you enjoyed the weekly video and hopefully next week my voice will be back to normal. I apologize if uh, this week is a little bit more relaxing <laughs> than usual. I hope that you enjoy it and if you did, please like, share and subscribe and I'll see you next Sunday for another painting. Bye bye.